Hi, and welcome to not so sunny northern Michigan in the winter time. Um, I'm going to be discussing the origin of my paddle bows. You've seen them on eBay um, for sale. Um, they're a West Coast design um, taken from um, the West Coast native style paddle bows that were um, typically shorter than this. They had wide limbs to distribute the load. Um, a lot of them were sinew backed. Um, this is uh, not really so much of an accurate representation, but um, an interpretation rather of a of a West Coast paddle bow. You can see that it's sinew back, um, deer leg tendon. I have a, a geometric design on there. I ground, have ground up pigment and then I mix it with hide glue and, and form the paint. Um, sinew wrap tips. And on these, I hope you can see it. On some of the hoopa bows that had the bent tabs, they also had a thin layer of um, rawhide glued to the tips that helped cushion the sinew strings. And also, when you grind the string grooves on a wrapped um, um, sinew tip, you get just short sections there, so that helps tie everything together. Um, plus, it's pretty tricky. The tip that I've come up with for um, putting the, the deer rawhide on is you, you cut it to shape and then you sand it down so it's very thin and then you soak it in a weak hide glue mixture. If you um, just soaked it in water it would become pliable but since you're not touching this with your hand a lot it doesn't matter if they're sticky and when you soak it in a weak hide glue mixture it makes it very tacky and then you put it down there and you wrap it with some cordage and then string it slightly just so there's pressure on the knock so when it's, it dries and, and shrinks it's not going to um, remove your knocks but having, a, having it strung will keep those um, keep the rawhide buried into the knocks. Uh, just a simple buckskin, commercial buckskin leather handle. I need to do a little more fine tuning on the tiller you see I've got a little too much bend in this, but the nice thing is even though it's 55 pounds now at, uh, I don't know, a short draw, um, <clears throat> let's say, when I refine the tailoring and get more bend in here and more bend in this limb, get it all even Steven, I'll be able to have a longer draw length, so actually I'll be able to shoot it further um, because of the, the added draw length will give it more push, so even though it's a sh short draw bow with rough tiller right now, um, when I refine the tiller, I'm going to get a longer draw on it because I'm spreading the load throughout the limbs a little better. Uh, the sinew has only been curing for about a week, so it's not done. It takes, um, gosh, upwards of a month, really, in normal northern Michigan conditions in a house in the winter to have the sinew fully cure, and then um, you can kind of see it uh, as it dries it'll gain some reflex. But this is it. I have no idea what the length of it is. I don't have any idea what the draw weight is uh, other than it's in the 50s, low 60s right now. It, I'm going to guess 22 inches, but after I um, refine the tillering, I'll be able to get more of a draw, probably 26 inches, and it'll increase the, um, the performance of it even with a lower draw weight. I'm not going to sell this one. This is going to be my little flight shooting bow. Um, plus, I tend to sell everything, and I don't keep anything, but this is the one that I want to keep. And I'm just going to kind of pan it so you can see the, the deer rawhide tips there. Do, 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 do. And the geometric design that's somewhat freehand. I mean, I, I saw these um, arrow type of designs on, uh, on a Google search of Modoc bows, and then added the, the white triangles and these um, little stripes here and these um, were not part of the original design, but um, I'm assuming these are arrows right there, stylized arrows. Anyway, this is uh, the origin of my paddle bows. I've also done them in U and I've done them in Juniper, which are um, very representative of the actual bows, and I've made replica Ishi bows out of Juniper and Sinew. By the way, um, the West Coast natives, including Ishe, also made self bows out of oak. Um, so this is a member of the red oak family. Red oak is, is a species, but it's also a group. Um, that's it. I'm going to get out of the weather, have a little breakfast, some more coffee, thanks to Sasha. And here we go. Cheesy smile.